What's up guys, Fadex here. Welcome to this brand new video on my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I think it will help out a lot of people out there using FL Studio without knowing the following features. Before I begin straight away, I want to know that this is not meant to be a basic FL Studio tutorial, rather something like a video about secret features that will make your time in the studio less time consuming, but also help you focus on the creative part of your work. If you're new to FL Studio, I will link you some really good beginner tutorials down below that you should watch before watching this video. If you are already advanced in FL Studio but still want to know some cool tricks, here are 10 hidden features in FL Studio you didn't know. Number 1. Detaching windows. The first feature is very helpful to highlight windows you need very often. For instance, you want to mix and arrange a pattern simultaneously but it annoys that the mixing window always goes back into the background every time you click the playlist. To solve this, click on the window you want to detach, go to Menu, Detached, and now your window should stay open on top as long as you click Detached again. In case you messed up and detach a lot of windows, just go to Options, General Settings, Misc Section, and select Detach All Plugins. Now all of the plugins you detached earlier should stay in the background again. Number 2. Delete unused audio clips. Guys, I'll be honest with you, this trick is so much time saving. I didn't know it existed and always did it manually. I always deleted clips I didn't use by checking for them in the arrangement. And if they weren't there, I just deleted them. But there's actually a feature for it. Simply click on Tools, Macros, Purge unused audio clips and now every sample that hasn't been used in the arrangement will now be deleted. Number 3. Third-party plugin automation clips. This is a trick I would have been glad to know way earlier and I think it's pretty hidden for such an important feature. Every non-default plugin added to FL Studio does not support automation clips by just right-clicking on the knob in the plugin itself, though FL Studio has a feature to solve it. To create third-party plugin automation clips, simply play around with the knob you want to automate, go to Tools, Last Tweaked, and then create automation clip. Now you have a new automation clip to play around and corresponding to your third party plugin. It's that easy. Number four, lock active. This trick is not essential, but I didn't know it existed some time ago. If you want to solo a track in your playlist, but want to have another track played as well all the time, then you are able to lock it. Just shift click on the green LED of the track you want to lock and select lock it. It will remain locked until you manually disable it. I use this trick a lot in collabs as I go along and try new patterns but still have the other person's stamps playing in the background, so I think that'd be very helpful for you guys. Number 5. Scale Highlighting I personally always start my songs with the chords first, but I think that's obvious. I mean, who does melody first? Everyone please comment hashtag team chords. Anyway, as I go along, it's essential to know which notes fit in your scale and which not. Even if you're not the best in music theory, FL Studio helps you with the scale highlighting. I tend to do this by creating a random instrument in my pattern, just mute it and paste the scale in there and then build the charts on my main instrument in the same pattern. That works very well, but FL Studio has a feature to solve it much quicker. For this, just go into the piano roll of your instrument and select Helpers scale highlighting, select the root note and the scale type, for example major or minor, and it will show you possible notes for your chords or melodies in grey straight away. That's much better than what I did before and I didn't know it existed before I started to research for this video. Number 6. Split by channel. Sometimes I like to see what plugins are layered not only in the channel rack but also in the playlist. To create different patterns out of one and modify or arrange them separately, you are able to split them by channel. Just simply right click on the pattern you want to separate and select split by channel. Now you can use the split patterns all by one in the playlist. Not a big feature, but I think you'll need it for sure in the future. Number 7. Save channel state. Very time consuming is also rebuilding mixer tracks that are similar but have to be used separately. To save time, just go onto the mixer track you want the used plugins to be copied with all the presets inclusive and select File, Save Mixer Track State As. 
Just save it somewhere on your computer and reload it on another mixer track straight away on the same way but selecting Open Mixer Track State. Boom, now all your plugins will all load in and you just clone the mixer track. Number 8. Copy Automation Clip States It may have happened to you that you want to copy the state of an automation clip on another plugin. That's actually pretty easy as well, but as almost every useful feature, very hidden in my opinion. To copy automation clip states, double click the automation clip you want to copy the state of, then open the menu on the arrow, hit articulator and then copy state. Pasting the state onto the other automation clip works on the same path with selecting paste state. There you go. Number 9. Layer triggering. Everyone knows, layering plugins can make a huge difference, especially in EDM drops for leads and shorts. But what if you want to change a little note in one of your layer? You will have to copy and paste the new charts or lead melody every single time. Much easier with FL Studio here. It's possible to trigger multiple sounds from the same pattern. Just load a layer instrument, open its interface and select the channels you want to trigger together and just hit set children. Any notes you will add to the layer instrument will from now on trigger the selected channels together. Number 10. Markers The last feature of today's video is something that improves your workflow so much. What I mean is using markers on your playlist. Everybody knows the problem guys. You're editing an automation clip way down in your project, but you have no idea where you're currently at in your project. And the bar counter at the top doesn't help either. To solve this we set markers on your playlist. Just press Alt T on the spot Give it a name and you're good to go. From there you can edit different events for your marker, such as loop, skip, pause or other things. This feature has much potential to organize your project. That's about it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this helped you out or you just enjoyed it anyway, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss new tutorials, songs and more on this channel. I really put a lot of effort in these type of videos and I'm planning to do much more like these in the future, so please leave some comments down below on some video ideas. In case you haven't followed me on Spotify and Soundcloud, please do so, I've got some really good songs coming up within the next week, so you don't miss that. That's it for now guys, I'll see you in the next one, stay safe and bye bye.